हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग दी वर्कबुक सॉल्यूशन फॉर सोशल साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड एट चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज मिनरल्स एंड पावर रिसोर्सेज बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोज सो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद दी एम फर्स्ट वन फ्रॉम विच टाइप ऑफ रॉक्स आर द मेटालिक मिनरल्स ऑप्टेन्ड इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ए इग्नियस एंड मेटामॉर्फिक सेकेंड Which of the following is not a characteristic of a mineral? It's option number C. They are inaccessible. Third, which of the following is a metallic mineral? It's option number B. Iron. Fourth, which of the following is a non-metallic mineral? It's option number C. Coal. Fifth, which type of coal is found in Gujarat? It's option number A. Lignite. Sixth. Which of the following countries is the leading producer of petroleum? It's option number A, Iran. Seventh, the delta regions of the Krishna and Godavari rivers are the major producer of which mineral? It's option number A, petroleum. Eighth, where was the crude oil found first in Gujarat? It's option number B, at Lunech in Anand district. Ninth. Which of the following countries is the leading producer of natural gas? It's option number B, Russia. Tenth, which fields in Gujarat are considered to be having enormous reserves of natural gas? It's option number C, Ankleshwar and Gandhar. Eleventh, which is the main source of energy? It's option number C, Sun. Twelfth. In which state is the solar energy project that is considered to be the largest in Asia located? It's option number D, Madhya Pradesh. Thirteenth, in which village of Patan district of Gujarat is the solar park of 590 megawatt capacity located? It's option number B, Charanaka. Fourteenth. In which country is the largest geothermal power plant of the world located? It's option number A, USA. Fifteenth, which of the following countries has implemented the tidal energy project to obtain electricity through tidal energy? It's option number A, USA. Sixteenth, which is the best fuel for cooking and for generating electricity? It's option number D, biogas. Seventeenth, which of the following minerals is used in metallurgy industry? It's option number C, fluor spar. Eighteenth, which mineral is used as fuel in the production of thermal power? It's option number C, coal. Nineteenth, from where is the silicon used in computer industries derived? It's option number B, quartz. Now we'll continue with question number two. That is fill in the blanks. First one, metals is not found in non uh, non metallic minerals. Second, due to the world uh, widespread commercial importance of crude oil, it is called black gold. Third, natural gas is found along with the petroleum deposits. Fourth, Ankleshwar and Gandhar are considered to be having the largest reserves of natural gas of Gujarat. Fifth. The group of windmills is called a wind farm. Sixth, a wind farm is active at Lamba village of Dev uh, Devbhumi Dwarka district in Gujarat. Seventh, Madhya Pradesh state receives the maximum solar energy in the country. Eighth, lignite coal is found in Pandro of Kutch district. Ninth. The energy which is produced by tides is called tidal energy. Tenth, metallic minerals are used in metallurgy industry. Eleventh, after the biogas is used, organic manure is prepared from its residue. Twelfth, coal and petroleum are non-renewable resources. Thirteenth, A biogas plant is in active stage at Dantiwada of Banaskatha district. Fourteenth, manganese is mainly used to make steel from iron. Fifteenth, aluminium is obtained from bauxite. 
16th zinc mineral is used for coating that is plating the galvanized tin sheets now we'll continue with question number 3 that is true or false first one minerals like coal and petroleum are found from igneous rocks it is false second crude oil is obtained from the interior of the earth it is true third due to the widespread commercial importance of crude oil it is also called black gold it is true fourth environmental pollution is not caused due to the use of coal and crude oil it is false fifth wind farms are in active stage at Lan uh, lamba village of jamnagar and near the sea coast of kandla of kutch in gujarat it is false sixth a large biogas plant is in active stage at rudatal of the skroi taluka of amdabad district it is true seventh a large biogas plant is in active stage at disa of banaskantha district it is false eight brass is made by adding tin in copper it is false ninth bronze is made by adding zinc in copper it is false Tenth, floor spar is used to make goods from china clay. It is true. Eleventh, the consumption of CNG should be increased instead of petrol. It is true. Now we'll continue with question number four. That is match the following. First one, solar cold storage. It's option number five, Chhani. Second, wind farm. It's option number four, Mandvi. Third, solar park. It's option number one. Charanaka, fourth biogas plants. It's option number two, Rudatal. Now second part of match the following. First one, Geda. It's option number two, Chhani. Second, hotter wat hot water springs. That is geysers. It's option number four, Tulsi Shyam. Third, wind farms. It's option number one, Lamba. And fourth, a leading country producing wind energy. It's option number three, Germany. Now third part of match the following first one steel from iron it's option number 4 manganese second electrical cables it's option number 3 copper third manufacturing of aircrafts it's option number 2 bauxite and fourth metallurgy industries it's option number 1 floor spar now fourth part of match the following first one electrical equipment it's option number 3 mica or you can call it as mica Second cement, it's option number one, limestone. Third storage industry, uh, sorry, storage battery, it's option number five, lead. Fourth thermal power, it's option number two, coal. Now we'll continue with question number five, that is answer the following questions in one or two sentences. First one, what is a mineral? Organic and inorganic substances which change under heat and pressure to assume a certain chemical composition are called minerals. Second, where are the ores of metallic minerals usually found? The ores of metallic minerals are usually found from the large strata of igneous and metamorphic rocks. Third, why are the minerals considered to be the artery of national economy? Minerals supply valuable raw materials to the industries and make the nation prosperous through their productions. So the minerals are the artery of national economy. Fourth, what is called ore? The minerals obtained in impure form from the interior of the earth are called ore. Fifth, which is the main characteristic of the minerals? The main characteristics of the minerals are they are very hard substances they are conductors of heat and electricity and they have luster. Sixth one, write the names of three minerals of your daily use. The names of three minerals of daily use are first one iron, second crude oil and third one is natural gas. Seventh, what are called energy resources? The resources that give us energy to operate the machines and to produce goods are called energy resources eighth one which are the main sources of conventional resources the two main sources of conventional resources are wood and fossil fuels ninth which are the major crude oil producing fields of india 
Digboy in Assam, Bombay High in Mumbai and Delta regions of Krishna and Godavari rivers are major crude oil producing fields of India. 10th one which institute is established to develop non conventional sources of energy in India Commission for additional sources of energy that is case is established to develop non conventional sources of energy in India 11th one which institute is working in Gujarat to develop non conventional sources of India Gujarat Energy Development Agency that is GEDA is working in Gujarat to develop non conventional sources of energy 12th one where is a solar power plant set up in Gujarat why the solar power plant is set up at Modhwa near Bhuj for desalination of sea water 13th where is the windmill used a windmill is used in the domestic floor mills and for putting out water from the wells besides a windmill is connected to a generator to generate electricity 14th where are the active wind farms located in gujarat the active wind farms are located at lamba village of devbhumi dwarka district and on the sea coast near mandvi in kutch district of gujarat 15th where are the geothermal power plants located in india the geothermal power plants are located at manikaran in himachal pradesh and at pugaghati in union territory ladakh in india 16th where are the hot water springs that is geysers located in gujarat the hot water springs that is geysers are located at lasundra unai tuwa and tulsi shyam in gujarat 17th what can be obtained through biogas energy and organic manure can be obtained through biogas 18th state the uses of manganese manganese is mainly used in making steel from iron besides manganese is also used in chemical industry pesticides glass varnish and printing industries 18th sorry 19th state the uses of fluorspar fluorspar is used in metallurgy industry plastic industry hydrochloric acid and manufacture of porcelain 20 the scrap of which metals should be reused the scrap of metals like iron copper aluminum tin etc should be reused now we'll continue with question number 6 that is answer the following questions briefly first one Why is the crude oil called black gold? Crude oil is very valuable energy resource. In the oil refinery, useful products like diesel, petrol, kerosene, wax, plastics, lubricating oil, etc., are obtained. Every part of it is useful. Various products of crude oil are very widely used commercially. For these reasons, it is called black gold. Second one. state the measures by which we can save energy the measures by which we can save energy are as follows cng should be used instead of petrol lpg should be used as fuel in place of wood or coal in the kitchen the non conventional sources of energy like hydroelectricity solar energy wind energy tidal energy geothermal energy biogas etc should be increasingly used third one Where is the coal found in Gujarat? Lignite coal is found at Pandro in Kutch, Tadkeshwar in Surat, Rajpardi in Bharuj, Thardi, Tagadi and Samatpur Samatpar in Bhavnagar and from Kadi in Mehsana. Fourth one, how can it be said that it is wise to reduce the use of fossil fuels in the future? The use of fossil fuels is sharply increasing. if its use continues at present rate then their reserves will be depleted in the near future which is a matter to worry they are not unlimited they are exhaustible they cannot be recreated due to the combustion of fossil fuels toxic pollutants are released in the atmosphere which is a matter of deep concern so it can be said that it is wise to reduce the use of fossil fuels in the future Now we'll continue with question number 7 that is answer the following questions first one 
distinguish between metallic minerals and non metallic minerals so in metallic minerals metals are in the raw form that is ore in metallic minerals metals are obtained by melting the ore example gold silver zinc copper iron bauxite etc in non metallic minerals there are no metals it has minerals which are used as power resources example coal and petroleum metals can be molded into different shapes by hammering or melting them some not uh, non metallic minerals can be molded into different shapes by cutting or breaking them metals obtained from the metallic minerals do not break even after striking them some non metallic minerals are broken into pieces due to striking metallic minerals are obtained from the large reserves of igneous and metamorphic rocks non metallic minerals are found in plains and in the regions of sedimentary rocks of fold mountains now the second one distinguish between biogas and natural gas biogas is obtained by decomposing the farm waste dung of animals kitchen waste human excreta etc and natural gas is a naturally separated gas from the crude oil biogas is a non conventional energy source natural gas is a conventional energy source biogas can be recreated after it is exhausted natural gas cannot be recreated after it is exhausted biogas production units are smaller and less capital is required for investment and natural gas production unit is very large and an investment of crores of rupees is required biogas use is non commercial and natural gas is used commercially biogas is mainly used for cooking and for generating electricity a large amount of organic manure is obtained from it and natural gas is mainly used for running of industries and as domestic fuel third one the use of non conventional resources will have to be increased in the future explain the statement the energy resources like coal crude oil and natural gas are available in limited quantity it is so estimated that if their consumption continue at the present rate their reserves will get exhausted some day moreover their use also causes the environmental pollution so the use of non conventional resources like solar energy wind energy tidal energy geothermal energy etc will be increased in future non conventional resources are unlimited these are not exhaustible once these are exhausted they can be recreated it is pollution free now now we'll continue with question number 8 that is write short note on importance of mineral resources so we'll write it as minerals supply raw materials to industries in the industrial age of today from pens to large machines and the spacecrafts are produced through the minerals minerals are also used to run the machines and the spacecrafts after industrial revolution the importance of minerals has increased all developed nations of today have become prosperous due to their diversities of minerals and their proper use many small and large industries are active today through the machines the requirement of the nations are fulfilled by different industries in large number due to the importance of minerals the present day age is also called as mineral age and here we come to the end of chapter number 10 that is minerals and power resources i hope you have understood the complete chapter if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you